Good morning, my friends. Uh, today I am going to be making turkey stock, and then tomorrow I will be canning it in my brand new pressure canner. It's the first thing that I will be canning uh, in that pressure canner, and I am very excited, but also incredibly nervous. Uh, do you all have a pressure canner? What is your favorite thing to can? Obviously, I don't know, they say that, you know, don't can anything that you don't want to eat, but um, I definitely want to eat homemade turkey broth or chicken broth or whatever. Um, so I am going to actually be doing like back to back batches of broth. So yesterday for dinner, we made uh, a whole turkey. I'm sure that you'll see that video sometime around the time that you see this one. Uh, and, um, we just put the bones and the rest of the um, like the onions and the um, lemon and stuff that we put in the uh, middle. We put all of that into a giant stock pot and I have a couple extra vegetable scraps and I'm also going to cut up probably a carrot and a couple ribs of celery and just kind of toss it in there with a bunch of herbs, bay leaves, peppercorns, um, and then let it cook pretty much all day. Today is supposed to be a really crummy day, uh, cold and snowy here in Colorado. So I just want to have this kind of simmering on the stove for the majority of the day. And then tonight uh, I will start getting it ladled into mason jars. And then from what I have read, uh, I don't need to worry about having those mason jars at the same temperature as the water like I would for water bath canning. So uh, I may pressure can it tonight and I may pressure can it tomorrow morning. So it just kind of depends on how the day goes. Uh, one thing I noticed is I am incredibly tired this morning and, uh, if you have seen the, uh, roast turkey video, you will know that that is because I was baby wearing while I was making the turkey. And, uh, I do not recommend that anyone carve a turkey while wearing a baby. It's just it's too hard. You're trying to like not burn them, but then also like carve a turkey. It was just, it was, it was hard. So, uh, we are going to get started early this morning and, uh, hopefully this, uh, the, at least the initial process doesn't take too long because we did a lot of the work yesterday. So there's my turkey carcass, um, all of the bones that we picked off of yesterday from our dinner last night, uh, and then like the onions and the apple and the lemon and stuff. So I'm going to be adding more to this. In this bag, I have the turkey neck. Uh, as well as some onion peels, carrot peels, um, I don't know, a bunch of other stuff in there. So that is going in. Uh, and I always save these bags because I'm going to fill them up with the exact same thing anyway. Uh, the next thing that I want to add is a bunch of thyme. There we go. So because this is going to be strained, I'm going to use thyme that uh, is homegrown and I didn't really pick it off all that well. Um, it's a little woody. Sorry, I'm trying to adjust. Anyway, uh, it's there we go. Oh, almost. Uh, it's a little woody. Uh, because I didn't pick it off very well. So I'm actually going to be using this time instead of some of the better um, preserved time that I did earlier. So yeah, normally you wouldn't eat this, this uh, woody part of the stem. But I'm just going to toss it all in because it's going to be strained anyway. That is a good amount there, uh, and I'm actually going to use the rest of this in the, oh, you want to keep on coming, uh, in the chicken stock that I'm going to be making probably uh, tomorrow. In the same stock pot, I'm not even going to wash it, I'm just going to take out uh, the turkey carcass and um, the vegetables, if there's any still, still remaining in here, uh, and then replace it with the... Uh, two chickens that I have and all of their 
uh, accoutrement. The next thing I'm going to add, I just rinsed off uh, three ribs of celery. I'm just going to break them. Uh, and then I rinsed off two carrots. I don't know if I can, I can break that one. I don't know if I can break this one. Oh yeah, I can. And toss those in. Uh, and then the last thing that I'm going to add to this pot before I add the water uh, is some apple cider vinegar. So just a splash of apple cider vinegar. This is a huge stock pot. I'm not entirely sure um, how many gallons, but I am 100% certain that if this was empty, I can fit three gallons of water comfortably in here because this is my um, old kombucha pot uh, and I would make three gallons of kombucha at a time. So I am certain that obviously it's not empty. It has a bunch of stuff in it, but uh, I'm certain that it holds three gallons comfortably. Just taking one more look around, trying to figure out what else I want to add, if anything. And I remembered I'm going to add about a tablespoon of peppercorns. Uh, those are whole peppercorns. You can also put a bunch of pepper in there, but I think that we will be just fine with that. And that is about it. Now I'm going to fill this with water up until I am covering the top of this carcass uh, and let bring it up to a boil and then let it simmer all day long. This stock has been simmering all day long. It's been about 10 hours since I started this morning uh, and I just pulled it off of the heat. I'm going to let this cool down before I strain uh, everything out and then uh, get it cooled completely overnight. Tomorrow I am going to uh, strain off any fat that has collected on the top, uh, get it reheated, and then put into jars to pressure can. This is the next morning. I actually left this pot outside uh, overnight. There was a ton of snow and so it stayed nice and cold. Uh, all of the fat has risen to the top and solidified. And so now I'm just going to grab a spoon and get it all strained off. The majority of the fat has been skimmed off now. Uh, that outer layer is actually completely frozen. So like this part and this part. Um, so I am, uh, it's back on the stove and I'm bringing it back up to uh, a warm temperature before I strain it. My broth is almost up to temperature. I have prepared everything else that I need. Uh, my jars are soaking in some very hot water. Uh, I have a dish rag with some vinegar on it, my strainer, my funnel, uh, and then a big bowl uh, and a scrap bucket over there. And then my pressure canner already has the base in it uh, and three quarts of water as per instructed by the instruction manual. Uh, and then I have my lids over here. So I'm going to set you up on a tripod and um, probably speed up the whole process, but we are going to get some turkey broth canned. I have the canner filled, so I'm going to put the lid on and get this pressure canned per the instructions. And just like that, we have 20 pints of turkey broth. Uh, this is the first thing that I have pressure canned, and it was surprisingly simple. So I suggest that everyone give it a try. Thank you so much for joining me on this video. I hope that you found this content useful. If you feel so inclined, I would love for you to like and subscribe to the channel. I enjoy making videos for you all, and I would love to hear a comment about what you would like to see in the future. Thank you so much, and until next time, bye.